Everything, everywhere, all at once. The movie that will never make you look at a bagel or a load of laundry the same again. I'm about to tell you a ton of stuff you didn't even know that you didn't know about the biggest movie of the year. Though, seriously, despite all the multiverse mayhem and mind-blowing CGI, the craziest thing about this movie was probably the budget. Our film is an independent film. It's fairly low budget for the ambition of the script. Directors Daniel Scheinert and Daniel Kwan only had $14 million to make this movie come to life. Considering the film made over $104 million at the box office, that's a pretty good payout for a low-budget indie movie, which is totally what this was. A low-budget indie movie. Okay, maybe medium budget, but for a film with CGI action sequences that could rival the Avengers, 14 mil is practically a drop in the bucket. Or maybe even a drop of detergent in the washing machine? Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Really quick though, if you guys want more awesome behind-the-scenes footage of your favorite movies and TV shows, subscribe to this channel so you never miss a video. It's worth it, I promise. Anyway, despite the film's low budget, they managed to hire some serious talent. But did you know that Michelle Yeoh wasn't originally cast to play the lead character Evelyn Wong? The Daniels actually envisioned Jackie Chan to play that role. That's right, earlier drafts of the script featured a male protagonist. I can see why they'd want to cast Jackie Chan, because there are so many epic fight scenes. But honestly, Michelle did such a good job with the stunts and action, I'm glad they chose her. Also, just a fun fact before I move on, Everything Everywhere actually used real archival footage of Michelle at the premiere of Crazy Rich Asians. Talk about meta. And I'll talk more about her in a sec, but first I just gotta tell you about the effects. We ended up having almost 500 visual effects shots, but we did that with mostly just five people. Usually the credits for visual effects goes on and on and on, blowing up the budget, but this movie pulled off all these shots with a super tiny team. Special effects like like puppets and animatronics, and practical effects like camera tricks and acting with props were super important to make this movie as well. And by the way, did you know those hot dog hands were actually real gloves the practical effects team made? It's so much easier because you the actors know exactly what they're reacting to and they can play. Like this creative approach to filmmaking saved the team a ton of money on CGI. We didn't have to have someone act opposite a tennis ball for the raccoon. The Daniels actually helped a ton with the special and visual effects, even filming some of the footage themselves. So I actually got just like a little camera, like a little pocket camera, and just film streets. Like this, this shot of New York was just me going through New York. Daniel Kwan revealed the reason much of the film takes place in a laundromat. In an interview with Digital Spy, he said, my grandfather on my dad's side came from outside of Hong Kong, and like a lot of the people who moved to New York Chinatown, they started laundromats. It is definitely the personal touches in this movie that are what make the over-the-top action scenes so great. That's just one of the many personal aspects of the film, and also why Michelle was so excited to take on the role of Evelyn. She wanted to act in a movie that would highlight narratives often erased in mainstream movies, like immigration hardships, queer identity, even the ways mother-daughter relationships can be indefinitely complicated, almost as complicated as the multiverse itself. Michelle has been in a ton of great movies, including Crazy Rich Asians, but she felt the role of Evelyn offered a unique and exciting challenge in both the thematic content and practical effects especially on such a small budget. In the end, she was perfect for the role. But did you know that Aquafina was originally going to be cast as the lead? Well, that is, after they decided not to cast Jackie Chan. Though the official reason was never released, it seemed like a scheduling conflict prevented Aquafina from taking the role, probably because she was shooting two other films at the time. Okay, and Jackie Chan might have been an understandable casting choice, but Daniel Radcliffe? I wonder if the Daniels just love casting people named Daniel. They'd actually worked with Radcliffe before, too, on the movie Swiss Army Man, which, if you haven't seen it, yeah, it's crazy. In Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, Daniel Radcliffe was supposed to have a small cameo in the movie, playing inside Evelyn's laundromat. And honestly, Radcliffe was super excited to be in the film, but he ended up having to turn it down due to scheduling conflicts as well. Dang, actors sure are busy. It's not the end of the world, though. Daniel's part ended up going to Aaron Lazar instead. You might remember remember him from Wolf of Wall Street or Avengers Endgame. Though this cameo was pretty out of the box for Aaron, I think he did a super awesome job. 
It's honestly so cool a small independent film like Everything Everywhere All at Once can have such huge box office success with a totally perfect cast. What were your favorite parts of the movie? And be honest, would you want to try on those hot dog finger gloves? Let us know what you think in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all the things.